right, push on. Oh, push on. F he went into the structure. Push on. Oh, f push on. Underneath. Oh, f this guy's huge. All right, this might be what was breaking. Oh, shit. This wasn't our first time doing a two-day, one-night trip. Back in March, I went on a two-day, one-night trip with a couple friends from school. However, this trip was miserable. Due to our inexperience of the Eastern Ubin Kelongs, we caught no fish, had no food, and barely survived. I was plagued with depression, anger, and hundreds of mosquito bites. All of this drove me insane. There wasn't even a video for that trip. Imagine spending $500 on a fishing trip without having anything to show for it. So I called up a new friend, Dominic. We planned the trip back to Pulubin with one more year of experience and a professional kayak fishing guide, Zul from Lucky Strike Charters. We headed out to Pulubin for revenge. This is Kayak Fishing Survival. Fish on. Hey, I'm on <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on a two-day, one-night trip. Today we're here at Passeris Car Park A. So we're actually gonna be doing a two-day, one-night trip. And Dominic is gonna be joining me later on. So right now I'm here with Lucky Strike. So today we're gonna be using his kayaks. All right, we're going ahead with the launch. All right, guys, it's extremely sunny today. Zul is just trying to get out. I'm gonna have to be careful not to get sunburned. I have my RYS sports gloves with me right now. These gloves are extremely waterproof, so if you want to check them out, link in description. But right now, I'm joined with Zul from Lucky Strike Charters. So their kayaks are extremely affordable. If you do want to check them out, I'll put their link in the description. Today, my kayak tour is just over like $91. And if you want to do some kayak rentals, it's just over $60. Pulau Ubin is an island located around 3 kilometers north of mainland Singapore. This island was actually used to mine granite using the construction of many lighthouses around Singapore. There are a lot of bustling old school kampong villages near the entrance of Pulau Ubin. However, all of these villages actually shut down at night so that means you have no food, no water and no medical services for the whole night. So basically, if we get into any sort of trouble or we can't catch any fish, we're in deep trouble. Okay, we're gonna start fishing. Let's get one piece of our live pond and put it on our Apollo rig. So this is the SG fishing rigs, heavy duty, single Apollo. Let's see if the lucky strike spots are any good. So we only have two goals in these whole 48 hours. Number one, catch fish. And number two, survive. After our long paddle towards Pulau Ubin, we went to fish some spots that we have saved up from our previous trips. However, we got nothing. And we got nothing for like a couple hours. And I was at the point where I was about to really give up. But just when I was thinking that thought, I heard screams coming from behind. All right, there's fish on. What is this? There's a fish on, our guide here. Wait, wait, <laughs> I need to turn my kayak. Oh sh! Oh sh! Hey, wow, that the net, guys, Biramandi. Just when we're saying, today way too slow. Well, that's really nice. So I caught two Biramandis, but it was time for him to go back. Seeing that I've caught nothing by the time Zul was preparing to go back, he used his guide skills and showed me one secret lojak lojak spot on the map. And that was where I headed. Once I got there, this was what happened. Fish on, fish on, fish on. This time it's not getting in the structure. All right, fish on, let's go. Oh, MJ. No, the net fucking doesn't work. Come on. Yes, let's go! Nice MJ! Fish on. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Okay. MJ, MJ. Alright! 
Oh shoot, look, it's coming. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Hopefully MJ. I mean, I mean, I mean, I think it's MJ. Oh, right. MJ, MJ, MJ. <laughs> All right, guys, this is going so well. Oh, fish on. This one, we're going to have to flip over the boat. MJ, MJ. Oh my god. Unbelievable. This is crazy. We're gonna be needing the extra stringer sometime soon. Alright, that was really good. We got like 5 MJ in the first day. Well, let's go! This is so much better than the last two day one night that didn't get posted because it was so bad. Your car is lagging in. No, Fish here. on! Fish on! Oh shit! Alright guys, look at this. What is this? Oh, it's a grouper! Oh my gosh! What size? What size? Around like 800 gram. Oh shit! Is that dinner? Hey shit, grouper is nice. I think we eat. I think we eat. Is that dinner? Is that dinner? Alright guys, I'm gonna call with Dominic. Wait, I'll give. Oh. I'm on the way to meet Roy Yang fishing. Just gonna park my car and then uh, we'll head over to Ohana and then I'll be launching from there. Oh shit, good size, good size, good size, good size. That will be dinner, man. Alright, guys. I'm probably done with my day fishing for day one. I'm gonna head back to the. I'm gonna head to the campsite and get camped. I'm, I need to find a way where I can preserve the fish I have, like I have caught, because I, I don't know how I'm gonna let them like not go bad. I need to preserve the fish. Huh. All right. All right, guys, look at my tent. This is the RYS Sports Quick Setup Tent. All you have to do is this. And this. And then it's already done. Look at that. That's all you have to do. So guys, we are right now at the beach, uh, incoming tide. And uh, we're gonna clean all the fish. Uh, just two of the smallest fish that we've caught today. And you can see how good size they are for eating. Right now we're gonna descale the fish and then uh, the grouper is still alive so I've got to bleed it first. Hi, good evening guys. Uh, I'm here with the Roy Yang Fishing on the Lucky Strike Charters and then uh, uh, just getting the scales out of the barramundi. So, so remember to get rid of them here, this part. This part is quite hard. Then a lot of people miss it here so. Yeah. So don't forget those parts. If not, when you take a bite out of it, it will be quite nasty. Alright guys, we're having a sip of hot chocolate here on Ubin Island with our campfire right here. The campfire succeeded and it's really nice. So let's take a sip of our hot chocolate. This is Cadbury hot chocolate. Mmm, perfect hot chocolate. It's like malty, chocolatey, milky. I really like this. Alright guys, we just f***ed up our campfire but at least we can get some fish. Let's try the fish. Mmm, this is the best fish I've had in a long time. Um, yeah, it's really good. How about the nice. barramundi? Alright, barramundi meat. This one's slightly uh, less flaky. I think I prefer the grouper because I prefer the, the, the more flaky one. Actually, I'm not sure how th these fish taste so good. Like, I don't eat these fish normally. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's good. Eh? Wow, the grouper is very good. Try barramundi. Hey, the royang eat. Eh? <laughs> the fact that the royang... Barramundi is softer. The but grouper is really the best, yeah. Look at the nice char on the sausage. There were a couple bumps along the road in making dinner. For example, our knives weren't the sharpest, and the wood was too wet to make a real fire. But overall, our dinner was still amazing. We had tons of fish, tons of food, and we ate really good, and ended eating, up Roy? by making Looks s'mores. very strange. I'm making s'mores. Wow. On Ubin Island. How does it taste like? Perfection. Ooh. Alright guys, we're here in our tent. I'm here with Dom. He didn't prepare anything for his sleeping. So then he's just in my tent as well. 
So we just finished cooking. We tried some night fishing, didn't work. So now we're going to bed and tomorrow, hopefully we're not gonna be too tired and we can do some stuff. So we're gonna be going to bed. And just like that, day one ends. But the trip is far from over. Day one was all about surviving. Day two is about thriving. Hey, fish on, fish on. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit!